Hey there, Capricorn. Welcome to your end of 2020 reading. This is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If you're wondering where the hell I've been, <laughs> I've been recovering health, medical related issues. I have posted a quick update on the community tab and I'm very happy to be back. So thank you guys so, so much for all the love and support for um, two of wands. Okay. For uh, those of you that are still subscribed to me, that waited for me, um, if you uh, were expecting a reading, you booked a personal reading, I'm still going through everyone's emails. Uh, I will be responding to everyone shortly. Just give me a little bit more time. I'm trying to get everything back in order. Uh, I did refund everyone who was expecting a reading, but I will be communicating with you so that we can set something up at a later time. So Capricorn, what do you need to know as we close out this year? Most important message for you. Five of Wands. I just did Virgos and she had the same thing as well. She, they. Queen of Swords. Ooh, someone's fighting with some air signs. King of Wands. Knight of Wands in reverse. So apologies for my setup. I don't have everything set up. Um... Everything got packed up and put away uh, while I was, you know, dealing with my health issues and also, you know, taking care of a bunch of things here at home. So I am working on a setup to um, bring you your 2021 reading. So Capricorn, Five of Wands, Queen of Swords, King of Wands, Six of Wands, and Six of Cups. So uh, children... Uh, some of you may be having uh, issues with the rebellious teenager or those of you with a child child like terrible twos where you're just like I've had it up to here one parent is checked out the other one is overcompensating overly angry you know making too many um, gestures towards a child queen of wands I definitely feel this is um, Someone who is trying to make things right. Yeah, look at that. Ace of Cups. Okay, Capricorn, if you have been like, I am ready to move on with my life. I want to get our relationship back in order. Or maybe you just want a new relationship. Um, yeah, see, Ten of Pentacles. Your main goal here is to, you know, get your household in order. Get your family in tip-top shape. Uh, there's a lot of you know, tug of war, fighting, um, arguments. Uh, it's like this person knows how to push your buttons and you just go off. Um, at the same time, I, I feel, okay, I'm, I'm sensing a couple different things. I feel like there's a parental competition here. Like, um, it, it I see it happening in like separated or divorced couples, parents, you know, um, that have children that bounce back and forth between households. And it's like, you know, our child loves me more. No, they love me more. Like, why is it even a competition? Uh, I do feel like it's almost as though you're fighting to earn your child's love and respect and they're just like, ha ha, they love me more. Very petty energy. You're just like, why is this even an issue? I'm trying to move on, move forward, you know? And it puts you in this headspace of, am I not doing enough for our child? Do they love them more than me? Like you start questioning yourself, but they're planting those negative seeds, Capricorn. You got to stay away from that shit. All they care about is child support, making ends meet. You know, they, they really, it's like, I feel like they're, they're mad at you for wanting to better yourself, for wanting another partnership, marriage, relationship, especially if you're, you know, separated and moved on. You've got someone new and... They just really want you to hurt. And I think that if you are seeing someone new, the other person, baby mama, baby daddy, is going to try and sabotage 
that future connection simply because they feel like, oh, they think they can replace me and have their happily ever after with me. I don't think so. You're looking towards a brighter future, you know, and, and they don't want that. They don't want you to have that. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, this is taking on a very different energy from the Virgos reading because I just really was like, freestyling over there and I pulled some other cards but let's see what is the most important message that you need to know so that this can get resolved as the year ends 10 of cups five of cups you feel like no matter what you do it's never good enough for them uh, it really needs to start with healing yourself yeah you've been thinking about this for quite some time others of you oh yeah Okay, you're taking charge, taking control of your life, of your situation. You know, I feel that like in one part of your life, be it your career, your household, whatever it may be, you've taken full control. Some of you have taken control of your own healing is also what I'm seeing. And, you know, no matter how far you've come in your healing journey, it's like how you, you they somehow manage to tear away a little bit more. They chip away at your um, confidence, at your self-esteem, and you're just like, no, I've been through too much. I've gone too far. I will not give them the power over how I feel over my future just because they're miserable, they're bitter Bettys or whatever it may be. And if you have not moved on with someone else, I feel that you've got your eye on someone that you do maybe feel like, okay, we click, there's a connection here, that 10 of cups and the ace of cups. And you're just like, I don't wanna start something that I can't put my all in it because I'm dealing with this drama over here, unfortunately. I'm so sorry you're going through that Capricorn. Let's see a lover's oracle card here. You know, I did a, my plan or my goal with this, you know, end of 2020 reading was like general overall and Virgo and Capricorns both seem to be focused around love. Okay, so this is a new card. I don't have all my decks out. Like I said, everything is packed. My microphone, my lighting, my tripod, everything is, is, um, is packed up. So I've only got this deck with me uh romance angels is packed up so this is by this is a lover's oracle by tony carmine salerno what message do you have for capricorn end of 2020 to heal this so they can move on i feel like 2021 is going to be so much better for you okay yeah, trust, transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. See, so that goes along the lines of what I said. If you have your eye on someone and you're just like, how can I even start something, right? If I've got all this other craziness, all this other drama in the background, I won't be able to fully invest in a new relationship because I'm too busy putting out fires, um, I feel that you need to trust the situation, trust the process, trust that this new person is going to be fully understanding. And I also hear you need to be the one to set the boundaries with the people from the past. Okay. Um, healing with the angels. What do Capricorns need to know about oh yes 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 okay you guys have a lot of healing to do i know you feel like haven't i done enough no here's what i'm hearing the only other than your own healing journey you need to heal the relationship with your child children and make sure that they know that no matter what you'll always be there mother, their father, their parent. You need to give them the reassurance that they need, that they are loved, that things will always be in a secure place, regardless of who comes into your life. And regardless what the other parent thinks or feels or says. 
That is very important for you to heal that relationship with them. You may not be able to heal the relationship or be civil or even stop them from like bad mouthing you from your ex. Yeah, divine guidance. <laughs> your angels are supporting you. You are being divinely guided towards healing this. So that channel message absolutely applies to you. It's time for you to take a bit of a break from all the drama. Maybe reach out to this new person and be like, hey, what's up? <laughs> well, with lockdown, you probably can't. But um, yeah, you know, I also feel that some of you um, need to find support within like self-help groups or support groups. Um, dealing with teenage children, dealing with smaller children. Um, dealing with a narcissistic parent, uh, feeling alienated, that type of thing. Um, Archangel Michael is helping you in your manifestation. So if your goals are to uh, slowly but surely get your shit together from one area to the next, well, Archangel Michael is helping you. But I, I need to tell you that ask Archangel Michael to cut away those energetic karmic negative ties cords you have with your ex that is causing all this grief ask them to clear away any karma between the two of you so that you can move on with your life you can have a strong bond partnership with your child with your children and ask the, ask archangel michael for support i feel like he, Capricorns have been going through some major need for healing. I, I just I just heard like bamboozled. Like just as you feel like you're finally getting a balance or something's going good for you, like you get clocked in the head with with something and you feel like, Jesus, when am I ever gonna get, you know, be able to get past this so that I can move on? Like, how, how long is this going to take until my kid is 18? Uh, trust me, it's not going to end when they turn 18. This person has a lot of, you know, negative emotions and energies that have, they're very bitter. Oh, my gosh. For some of you, they've even moved on. They've got someone else, and yet they just don't want to see you happy. They have not healed, and they won't let it go. So what do you need to heal? Well, you need to heal this so that you can move on with your soulmate. I feel that you guys know who your soulmate is. You may have met them or you've been trying to manifest them. Um, absolutely. It does take some time, some patience. I also heard... If you already know who your soulmate is, someone that maybe you've been wanting to put more time, energy, and effort in, you've been going off and on with, that you have explained to them that your situation and that's why you haven't been able to put into the situation, you ask them to please be patient with you. If you haven't yet, it would be a very good idea to do that. They are more understanding than you realize. And if this person is not understanding, then they are not your soulmate. They... You know, the person that you're meant to be with, you will be with no matter what happens, what, whatever the situation may be. So Capricorn, wow. This is um, very important messages for you uh, when it comes to healing. So take some time to really retreat, pull back from the situation. Take a look at the picture as a whole, right? And figure out what you can do, how you can go about healing, you know, and strengthening the bonds with your children. It's clear that this person from your past, the baby mama, the baby daddy, I honestly, I hate to say this, I don't see them 
I don't see them in a, I'm going to say it this way. I don't see them in a good place and a high vibe anytime soon. Okay. I'm just going to say it like that. They're, they have very low vibrational energies, right? It's time for you to walk away, honey. Eight of cups, moving on to bigger and better and your angels, they're nudging you. But pretty soon that nudge is going to be a swift kick in the rear to get you out of that comfort zone. Because I feel that some of you are, are actually in that comfort zone of I'm okay with the way things are right now. You know you're not. You know damn well you're not. Right? Six of Pentacles. How can I give to both? Well, you're only in a relationship with one person. And so understand the separation of the types of relationship, the type of energy, time, focus that you give your child or children, and the type of energy, time, focus that you give a partner, okay? So one last message for my Capricorns before I end this. Okay. There is love on the horizon. If you are afraid of opening up that door to love, it is there. It is absolutely there. You'll be moving forward very quickly. Um, seven days, seven weeks, or the month of July, I feel is when things may start to pick up. I know some of you are like, July? I can't wait that long. Girl, you have been in quarantine for about nine months. You can wait another seven months. <laughs> I know I always say girls. Sorry, I need to stop doing that. You got love for someone. There is someone here that's very emotionally available, nurturing for you. Or that is you feeling that for someone else, right? And you, unfortunately, that four of cups energy. So here it is. Here's a few messages. Either it's you who's got this love and affection for someone else and that four of cups is saying, but I just don't know if I can do that. I'm afraid to start something that's going to end horribly and I don't want things to end bad with them because I really dig them. I We get along great. Or, or... <laughs> The other person is waiting for you to come around and finally put the pedal to the metal, right? Like, what is taking my Capricorn so long? All right. Two more cards and we'll end this here. Seven of Pentacles. Okay, too many came out, but here we go. I'm going to show you. Seven of Pentacles. Knight of Cups again chariot again that's why i said it's seven days seven weeks july you are definitely thinking about this how things will go change hanged man eight of wands do i don't i do i don't i do i don't i i don't want to tell them all the drama i might scare them away do i tell them what's really going on Communication is key, Capricorn. I really feel that communication is key. And when you speak your truth, they respect that. They honor that. Their understanding of the situation. Now, some people may be like, hell no, I'm not dealing with that drama. And now you have to be the one to respect their decision. And some people will be like, you do realize that they're doing this to you on purpose so that you don't move on. That just might piss somebody off. I'm just saying. So, overall message for my Capricorn so I can end this here. Again, a lot of energy. Let's recap this. A lot of cards came out. You guys know I don't usually take more than two to three, but very high energy. Five of Swords. Look at that. Knight of Swords, Knight of Cups, the Sun, and the Queen of Swords. Bottom line, it's time to make yourself happy. You're never going to make your ex happy. Uh, I feel the need to say 
You couldn't make them happy when you were together and they're still making you miserable even apart. There's a lot of tug of war, fighting, competition. Um, they come in very aggressively and you try to keep your peace, but at some point you gotta stop letting people walk all over you, okay, Capricorn? Time for you to say what needs to be said. Stand up for yourself. Put your boundaries up. And not just say it, but expect, expect respect, right? That's your goal for the, your goal to end this year. You're going to put it out there that, listen, it's really disrespectful, whatever, yada, 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 whatever it is that you need to say. I don't appreciate you doing X, Y, and Z. That's pretty shady that you try to make me look bad in front of our kids, in front of our families, whatever it may be, right? Talking mad shit, right? Boundaries, respect. You will treat me with respect. You will regret it if you don't. And keep on instilling that boundary, okay? You've put in a lot of work in yourself and now it's time to set up those boundaries with ease queen of pentacles that's virgo energy again i read i did yours next because i just did the virgos and you popped up in virgos so if you are interested in a virgo or this is just you trying to figure out how to balance yourself right maybe you feel like the page instead page of pentacles wanting to make a solid offer but not yet ready to because well you got to heal some things but there is hope there is light at the end of the tunnel capricorn i wish you all the best please give this a thumbs up like share comment and subscribe double tap that bell remember i did post an update on where the hell have i been look at you booms baby king of pentacles there you are you're ready for it you're ready for your next chapter you're ready for 2021 you're ready to move on no ifs ands or buts about it right Anyway, as I was saying, sending you guys lots of love. Happy holidays. I hope you are all safe and well and um, hanging in there during these tough times. I appreciate you all so, so much. Sending you so much love. Uh, please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I wish you all the best. Your 2021 readings are coming up next. Take care. Bye.